lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle axis, y'all's weapons of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle axis, y'all's weapons of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle axis, y'all's weapons we was in the hood, I think Oak Cliff, 304, VFL, Best for Less. I sold dope, crack, everything that we could possibly do, brother. But we was against the most high God. The, the scripture gonna let you know that we were these same brothers sometime too. Bring this out. Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. For we ourselves also were sometimes food. The most high, the Titus is saying, say, guess what, brother? We was lost too. We weren't always good brothers. We weren't always on this side. We was on that side sometimes. He said, so we ourselves were also sometimes foolish. But if, for we, we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Uh -huh. Disobedient. Disobedient. Going against everything that the Bible told us to do. The seed. The seed. We was being told by the Christian church, oh, that God loves everybody. Oh, that you can make it to the kingdom, just put a little extra money in the pocket. Oh, you can be a hustler, or you can be a killer, or you can be this and that, a rapist, and you can still just put a little extra money in the pocket, and you can make it to the kingdom. We were deceived, brother. We thought that that was true. Serving divers lust and pleasure. Serving divers lust. Well, guess what we was doing? Everything to make us feel good. We didn't care about how the most high God felt about what he told us to do. We only did what we wanted to do because that's what made us feel good. Oh, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to holler at one of these chicks, see if I can, you know what I'm saying, hit them tonight. Because that's what I want to do. We didn't know that the Most High God wanted us to be married. The Most High God always talk about marriage, brother. That's right. You lay with that woman, guess what? That's considered your wife, man. That's right. And you're supposed to marry that sister, man. We can't keep doing this no more. I heard trying to hit every single chick, trying to get our stats up. I know it, man. I used to rap. I used to do all this, man. I tried to get my stats up. But right now, man, the time has come for the most high to give us the true world and understanding of this Bible, brother. And that's what we're trying to do out here. Because I could be at the house doing something totally different, brother. But I'm commanded to come out here with the Bible and give you, my brothers, man, the word, the true word, man. That's that right. these that these pastors are not giving y'all. Until you go to church on Sundays, brother, have y'all y'all go to church? Sometimes. Yeah, I know, you know, I got I was in church for 17 years of my life, man. But I read the Bible for myself. All I had to do was read. All we got to do is read. Don't even believe me. Don't even believe my brother. Believe the scriptures. I, give right. me John 7 and 38. Okay. Believe on the scriptures, man. Because the, this is the only thing we got. It's our hope. This is our book. Like he told them, brothers, man. This book is full book for us, by us. It ain't got nothing to do with no other nation. Finish that up. Living in malice uh -huh. and envy. Hateful and hating one another. And guess what, man? Ain't that the biggest thing we do today as a nation of so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans? We hate on each other so much, man. We hate on each other more than we uplift each other, man. That's right. It's time for us to get up out of that, man. How are we going to wake up our people and we are here killing each other? That's right. Over some drugs, over $100 shoes, over a $50 rock, over whatever the case may be, man. you going to kill a, a one of your own kind? But guess what? That so-called white man pull up out here and everybody, oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, oh, no, I ain't got nothing to say to him. But you'll kill your own kind, man. That's what we got to get out of, man. This ain't no game mess no more, brothers. We out here to give y'all this love, man. Because love, according to the Bible, is simply keeping the commandments. Go there for me. I'll go to Leviticus uh, 19 to 17. Brothers, we got to stop hating on each other, man. We got to start loving each other, brothers. It don't matter what color you got on. It don't matter what size you from. It don't matter what hood you claim. We are brothers, man. And we all going through the same atrocity. We all out here get shot down by these police. We all out here going through the slums. We all stand to get over. We all out here trying to get it out the mud, as they say. We ain't, we hurting, man. And we out here to tell y'all the truth, man. Give me this right quick. Because guess what? How many laws did y'all, how many laws did they tell you it was in the, in the church? Yeah, how many commandments they told you it was? Like 10, 12, you done heard a lot of numbers. Well, there's over 600 commandments in this Bible. We're going to command them right here that you never heard. And this, and, and I'm going to give you a few more commandments, and then we'll, uh, you'll understand it's way more than just 10, 12, 40, whatever they want to say. It's over 600 laws, statutes, and commandments. Because laws are commandments. Statues are commandments. And commandments are commandments. You understand that? Read this right quick. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What did the Bible command us to do? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Oh, that nigga 
here from Oak Cliff. I'm from Pleasant Grove. Gotta right. stop right. not hate right. my brother right. in yeah. dying heart. Oh, that nigga think he clean because he got a BMW. Gotta stop not hate my brother in dying heart. Brother, we can't hate on each other, man. We cannot hate on brothers, man, because he got a nice watch on. He got a nice chain on. Oh, he got his haircut today. Oh, he got clean. Oh, he 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 clean. They ain't doing nothing but hindering us more and more. Because guess what? The so-called white men, all other nations, they already trying to kill us, man. They already putting us down. So you mean we go kill each other and then let the so-called white man do it to us too? Break it out, dog. We losing. That's a lose-lose situation. That is a lose-lose situation, brother. Now, we want to, let's go to Deuteronomy. I'm, I'm going to give this uh, a love right quick because how do you love God? What, what, is that, that's a question. How do you love God? Would you, would you, would you be able to understand how, like, how, how do you think you should love God? How, what, what is love to God? Pleasing Him, right? That's, hey, brother, you on the point. You on, you on the right thing. So let's see, because love to the Most High God is not the love that we give to each other. Although that is good love. You know, you want to love your brothers and sisters like they're your own brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's your cousin, if that's your brother from over, uh, uh, uh from uh, 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 West Dallas, if that's your brother from with the Pinkston, and you went to Carter, it don't matter. You're supposed to love him. But this is love to the Most High God, like you said, to please Him. How do you please him by doing this commandment? Let's get it. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. What does the Bible say? For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Ain't that simple? The, the most high said, God the Father said, if you love me, well then guess what? You keeping the commandments. That's simple. All he wants you to do is do what he asks you to do. That's to keep the commandments. Obey the laws, that's the commandments that he gave us. That's why we in these curses. Like my brother brought out them curses, man. That's why we under these curses, because we have not obeyed our father, man. That's right. Why y'all think we in the slums? Why y'all think they not shooting down Africans? Right. Don't Africans look like us? Why they ain't shooting down little, uh, little uh, Arabian boys? That's right. Why they not shooting down little white boys? Hey, you, you, a white boy can go shoot up a hundred people. And guess what he doing? He in the cop court. Oh yeah, he just in the cop car going to jail. You let that brother go shoot up one or two people. Guess where he at? He in the morgue. They got a toe tag on that brother. They got a body bag on top of the ground. What, 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 with some yellow tape. They kill us, man. Have you ever wanted to notice why is that? Why are they only shooting us down, brother? Break it out, huh? Because this Bible is for us. And guess what? That Psalm 83 and 1 he brought out, it lets you know that they already know the Bible for us, brother. That's right. These Chinese and all these other people, that's why they out here taxing the hell out of us. They tax us on everything. Now you'll get a little 25 piece of candy. And then they tell you, oh, 32 cent, bro. Yeah. Right. Oh, 32 cent, big dog. Oh, yeah, 32 cent, big dog. Yeah. Come on, man. You taxing me on everything? Because you know. Because they like to say that we ain't got no money. But guess where all our money going? Right back into their pockets. They getting rich out for us. If we wasn't the son of the earth, bro, they wouldn't have nothing going for themselves. If we stop going to these uh, Chinese stores and stop going to these uh, uh, beauty supplies and all these so-called white men shops and start building, growing our own crops, they would be nothing. That's right. They would be nothing. They need us to keep them going, man. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 40 and 46. Because my brother brought out the, 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 the curses, man. Guess what the curses do? The curses identify who we are, brothers. This is how you know that we the children of Israel. Have you heard that we are the true Jews of the Bible, brother? That's right. You heard that? All right. This is how you understand it. You go to the curses in Deuteronomy, and if they line up with the, with, with the lifestyle that we having, then that means, guess what? You're the real Jew. Uh, yeah, go to Revelation 2 and 9. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. 46. 46. 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a one. It said, and they. What is that day that we're talking about? We're talking about the curses. The curses that the Bible put upon us. He said, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Sister, you got time to come over and talk to the prophet, sister? Go give us five minutes of your time. Come on, sister. We, we just want to die loud. Come, come talk to me. I'll praise you. We just want to die loud. So, brother, you hear that? You listen to that, brother? It said that they shall be upon thee and for a sign and for a wonder. That they is these curses that we're under. Because, let me tell you, let me talk to him right quick, brother. Because, what is this store right here? What's the name of this store? What's the name of this store right here? Moonstar. Moonstar. 
What, what, what they saying right here? Moon star. What they saying right here? That's the same we did. Nah, nah, like, like this is the hot, well, like, well, that's what they saying right here. It say custom and audio, right? It say alarms and stereos, right? How do you know that they sell alarms and stereos? Right. All praise. Because they got the sign up there, right? <laughs> so these curses are a sign for us to understand that we are the true right. Jews of the Bible. Yeah. Read that again. And they shall be upon thee. And they, the curses, shall be upon you for what? For a sign and for a wonder. For a sign and for a wonder. These curses will identify their brother. You got the royalty to blood line, brother. These curses go identify that God chose you and your chosen seed, brother, in your bloodline. That's this right. curse is going to be upon you to let you know that you're going to be going through some things, brother, that a lot of these other people not. Why? Right. Because the Most High chose you, man. That's right. That's what these curses identify. And hey, you can look at Gangster Bazaar. And what does that tell you? That's Gangster Bazaar. I mean, they got some stuff in there that Bazaar said. That's a sign. These curses identify for a sign. And for a wonder, finish that out. And upon thy seed forever. And guess what? These curses are gonna be up on us forever, bro. Yes, sir. Even though we even though we coming out and we waking up right now, they still gonna be upon us because a lot of our brothers and sisters don't wanna wake up. A lot of That's our brothers right. and sisters, they wanna be out here and just right. sell like dope and do whatever they wanna do. And I understand we've been lost, man. That's like right. I told you at Titus 3 and 3, I was that brother one time. Brother, all I wanted to do was go hit some females, hit me a blunt or two, and relax and chill at the house and play the game. And to the next female call. Or to my line run for that next drop of money I need to make, you understand? But I can't do that no more, brothers. We got to be out here to help uplift our brothers and sisters, man. That's right. Bring up, what you got for me? Because guess what? You know that you heard that we the two Jews, right? Let's show you that. The people that call themselves, what do they call themselves over there in our land? They call themselves Jewish, right? Jewish. What the hell is ish? I don't know like, what that is either. Something like <laughs> pertaining to. If I was the real Jew of the Bible, you think I'm going to be out there talking about, yeah, man, we kind of Jewish over here. No. Or what I say, no, nah, we the real Jews right here. There you go. That's what we are. I'll That's what we be. But they say that they too ish. <laughs> That's a lie. It, like you already know, brother, ish means something like pertaining to. Read this. This going to let you know that they liars. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation. Most High said, do you two Jews, you so-called black, Latinos, and Native Americans, I know y'all works. I know how hard we got to bust our butt every day. I know how hard I got y'all going through these atrocities. I know how hard it is for y'all to keep your head above water, like the, uh, like the show. Keep your head above water. J-O-B, like my brother say, job just above broke. Just over broke. We just making it, brother. He said, I know your works, the two Jews. I know your tribulation. I know the pain that you're going through, man. But what? And poverty. And what? And poverty. Because the Jews over there in our land, bro, don't you know they own all the banks? I looked it up. It's only like two banks that they don't own, brother. And that is literally, brother. That's right. They own all the banks, brother. They ain't hurting for nothing. But he said, the two Jews, I know your poverty. I know how hard you're working to try to get up out this situation you're in. I know what's going on. I know your poverty, but what? But thou art rich. Even though you're still on the bottom, that they think you're on the bottom, you on the top, brother. You on the top. Even though you even though you're going through this poverty and these situations that they gave you, you on top. Now ask me this, brother. I got a question for you. I got a question for you, brother. Why would the most high tell us? That he know your work, he know your poverty, but you rich. Why would he tell you you rich, but you but you in poverty? That kind of like don't make sense. Well, if you ain't, if you ain't reading and understand the Bible, it wouldn't make sense to you, would it? Go to Deuteronomy 76. I'm gonna show you why he said you rich, brother. I'm gonna show you why he said you rich. Bring that out. Finish that out. And I know the blasphemy of them. Now, what is blasphemy? Hmm. What does the word blasphemy mean? <laughs> Lies. He said, there I know go. the lies of them that do what? That say they are Jews. They say they Jews. I know the people that lied to you there in your land saying that they Jews, but what? And are not. And are what? And are not. And are what? And are not. He said, and I know the lies of them brothers that say they Jews and are not. But guess what they are? But are the synagogue of Satan. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. Bro, they the devils, bro. All these other heathen nations, bro. You know what heathen means? All day Any long. nation outside these 12 tribes. So that means all these other nations, the Moab, the Chinese, the, uh, the Arabians, the Israelites, all the other nations that the Most High made, he called them heathen. 
because they don't have the chosen seat. Let's go to why you rich though. Because the Bible, we still trying to figure out how the hell we, let's see how we rich though. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Go to read it all the way up. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear why you rich? Did you hear why, why you rich? He said you rich because you are a chosen specimen to him. You are a chosen people to him. And he said that he made you above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Above. Everybody want to say we're equal to, right? Why more Luther King came out and preached an equality? Oh, I believe that little white kids and little black kids and hold hands together. That's why he out. That's why they out. The most I said, ain't nobody going to get you out of this situation. Don't try to lie and, and take God's words and twist them up. Because he didn't say we was equal. He said that you was above all the other nations. Brother, that's what we are here trying to tell our brothers and sisters, man. We are kings, man. And it's time we start acting like it. You're not going to be no king unless you start acting like it, right? What's the first step to start acting like you're a king? Knowing that you are a king in the Bible. Start doing these laws, that's your commandments. Shalom, my. Right? Our uh, praises, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to know that we kings, brother, first of all. That's why we're giving you these scriptures. If you if, if don't nobody tell you, because how they told us you king, have you ever heard people say, man, y'all kings, man? Hell, our own parents don't even tell us that because they don't know they say them. Because they've been told the Bible and they wasn't reading the Bible. You remember that? We've been told the Bible, but we never read the Bible. Oh, we've won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We've won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war.